Now something else I wanted to mention about text in our last tutorial here. Sometimes it can be confusing that you don't see your text. It's probably because you have the same color as your text as the background. Just be aware that that can't happen. That's happened to me several times. But just because you have the same color doesn't mean you can't have a little fun, right? So what if we put some red backgrounds behind it? You can create this little effect here. Maybe you can go to the layer, layer style, style settings. Make sure that your text layer is active, of course. Maybe you can add a drop shadow to make it stand out. That's nice. Maybe you can add a bevel. Maybe you can put it down to make it look like it's carved in. Add a drop shadow for a different effect. Change the angles around. Okay, click cancel. Okay, remember this because it's a text layer. Let me go back. Layer style. And let me just add a drop shadow so we can see it. Click OK. Just because it is a drop or just because it is a text layer, what makes it great about it is it's customizable. So if I don't want to say warp me, I can still come in here and delete me and just use warp. That's what makes it great. Now that goes away as soon as you right click and say and choose simplify layer, then it's no longer customizable. Okay? When you do add an effect to text, you'll see a little FX right here. Let me move off that so you can see it right there, okay? Now something else you can do with text, you can warp it. So as soon as you select it, you can choose this option and have some fun and you can warp your text. So you can create an arch, okay? You can adjust the bin. If you want a vertical, you can choose that option. That's pretty cool. So if you were to say sound or something, that would be kind of cool. And you can choose different ones, bulge, inflate, okay, and then you can choose the horizontal distortion, okay, make it go one way or the other. So you can have a lot of fun with text. Okay, now something else I want to show you, so let me just click cancel, and I'm going to go to the organizer here, and choose this, and open it up with Photoshop Elements Editor. And what do I have here? I have a green background, the word tree, spelled in impact if I'm right, okay, which is a text layer, and I have a tree. Now what can we do? Well, you can hover between these two layers, press the Alt key, and have this layer, this layer mask this, or I always, this is how I did talk about it. This layer is put into this layer, clipped into this layer, that's how I remember it. Now this is kind of cool, and what's great about it is you can click on the tree layer, and you can still move the tree around within the word tree, so that's, that's really creepy and cool, huh? Okay. Now something else that you can do is let's take these two layers off and choose the back layer. And they have a tool here called the mask tool. And what that is is you can just click here in the middle and type masking. And you'll notice that it's too small to read. So what you can do is double click the word and press control shift comma. Control shift comma. This only works when it's selected to increase the size of the text. Now you're probably wondering why I'm using this instead of just typing it in there. Well, I can type it in there, but I don't know how far I need to go. And if you let me click the green check mark to commit it, if you notice that this only goes up to 72 points and I needed 280, okay? So at this point, once we had the masking, we could just press delete and that will be deleted and you'll have the other part shown. That would be kind of cool. Okay, let me press control Z, control Z one more time. Or I can invert and select everything else but the word and then press delete. And now we have this. Okay. Or, let me go one more time, sorry. Or what you could do is select the tree. Let me, let me, uh, D, there we go. Let me select the tree. Okay. And then move the, ma move the mask and watch what happens. See? Okay. And then I can press select inverse and delete and guess what now I have the tree in a different way so there's a lot of options that you can do with the text tool and we've just scratched the surface